Hey guys, Pyro here. Today I'll be doing a review on one of my favorite Windows applications, AirServer from AirServer.com, and how to use it to record iOS 7 devices. Because now, any application on directly on the iPad or iPod or iPhone don't actually record the device device's screen, like record my screen or record screen. If you don't already know, AirServer is an AirPlay receiver for Mac and PC. It allows you to receive AirPlay feeds similar to an Apple TV. So you can stream content or mirror your display from your iOS device, iOS devices. When you first pay, you do have to pay for it. It is a paid-for application. When you first pay for it and download AirServer, you'll obviously be taken through the installation process. Once completed, we can go ahead and launch the application. I'm launching it right here. Upon launching the application, it seems as though nothing has changed and the window is ha opened. Once it starts and is ready for receiving AirPlay feeds, it'll notify you whenever... Where no, no, not whatever. Wherever your notification area icons are, for me they are located on the bottom right of my PC. If I click the arrow to view the running programs, I'll see Air Server. In order for your device to be married to your PC or Mac, both the computer and the device must be on the same internet connection. Now on the now on the device for iOS 7, just swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen to activate Command Center. In Command Center, you'll see what looks like a TV screen and the words AirPlay. Tap on that to bring up the AirPlay connection interface. Simply tap on the app AirPlay device with the name of your computer on it. I named my computer Pyrofilms Effects. To change the name or to find out what, your, what you named your computer, just search computer name in the start menu. After your computer is selected in the AirPlay interface on your device, simply toggle the mirroring feature. Soon after, your, after soon after on your Mac or PC, a window will launch with what is on the device. From here, you can go full screen and change other valuable settings. In my opinion, this will mostly just be used for YouTubers, for recording the device's screen, and for maybe like businesses and stuff. There's a lot of other features too, if you really need them, like true full screen display, picture and head chatting, secure password protection. I don't really need that, but probably a cool feature for people who do dual play compatible I don't even know what that is but it sounds cool airplay from YouTube vivo air media center and more photo slideshow iTunes compatible and more because obviously there is more all the time now that we have air server all set up I'll show you how you can record your iOS 7 devices screen what you'll need is an iDevice that supports iOS 7 a PC or Mac with air server installed and a screen recorder of your choice. My screen recorder of choice is Microsoft Expression Encoder, a free screen recorder directly from Microsoft, which is really cool. More in-depth tutorial will be on that in the near future. Now simply have your device mirrored to your PC and Mac and start your screen recorder. Do whatever you need to do on the device and watch it be recorded on your PC. Voila! Screen recording iOS 7. Any questions? Please just ask in the comments below. Hope you enjoy. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Bye.